the gigantic structure, equipped with machinery, devices and instruments, and powered by atomic energy, races around the Earth at orbital speed. Here in the station, the stupendous velocity is not felt. You hear no howl of wind or screech of objects rushing by, nor do you feel any jolts. The outer circular frame of the station rotates, and through the action of centrifugal force, creates the sensation of gravity. This makes the people feel more at home. Let's look inside. As a precaution against perforation by meteoroids and air escape, the ring is divided off by hermetic doors. That's understandable, for outside there's a vacuum. The station is a beehive of activity. It's the realm of meteorologists. They view the Earth through a pattern of clouds. The staff is on duty round the clock. A typhoon is detected in the Pacific. Its bearings and direction are reported at once. Fishermen will be warned in time of the approaching danger. The space station is doing real service to the people on land. Staff members follow the movements of the ice flows in polar regions, keep track of solar activity, and relay television broadcasts. On the staff are several score persons. Here's one of the living rooms. Human beings adapt themselves to the new environment very easily. To the black abyss, this woman has brought some common earthly coziness. Of course, the people yearn for home. But everything has been done to lessen the strain of isolation from Earth. conditions prevailing in the station give the biologists a chance to carry out interesting experiments. To establish a definite climate and an eight-hour duration of a day instead of 24 in one compartment or to keep sunlight on round the clock in another. The dream of physicists is a laboratory in the cosmos. Here, they conduct research in various fields, analyzing the structure of cosmic rays and testing all kinds of materials under extremely low temperatures. Several institutions have their subsidiary laboratories in the space station. Here is an astronomical observatory. For since there has always been an atmospheric haze between the astronomer and the universe. But now... Look, here are two photographs of Mars taken through the same telescope. This one was taken from land, through the murky atmosphere. And this one was taken from here. How clear it is! Besides serving as a research centre, the space station is a landing stage for the first passenger ship to the moon. The ship has a queer shape. But since its route to the moon lies through airless space, it need not be streamlined. The important thing is to have the cabin, the fuel tanks, the motor and the chassis fastened together efficiently.